Hey guys, Jan's Crazy Life. So we're going to do day 10 of December Daily. And so I have like a plan, but not a plan. I have an idea. So I was looking through some, a magazine and I seen this picture, right? And I thought it was so cute. Let me, let me move the book out of the way because it doesn't want to. So I thought it was really cute. I had these cookies. So I think I'm going to do something with these pages. I thought that this paper kind of went well. It's different, a little contrast. Um, oh, I need to put this on a backing. I'll do that. So here is our um, tenth. Let me zoom in so I can show you my my what kind of colors we're going with. So I have today. My husband got YouTube Live going, so I'm gonna use gold and black. That's kind of with greens and reds, but that's gonna go on there. And then here is my December I put on gold there was what for dinner chicken and veggies and then that is a picture of my husband's grandma she passed away today and here is my saying but I'm gonna back this I might on gold I don't know yet we'll wait and see I also have some of that gold paper um let's zoom out again Jan and I have some washi. So I was like, let there be gold washi. And look how cute this plaid is. So we are going to figure it out. First things first, I'm going to get my clips. I have these little clips. They're sewing clips. And look how cute this box is I got from Susan. I have the little ones I use daily. But these big ones, I thought would be really good to hold the pages the way that I want them to hold. All right, so I'm gonna clip, we're gonna clip it like this so we can kind of get an idea, move the bookmark, and then let's start with pages. So I think we cut this one the size over here, right? So I wanna rip it a little bit and stick some of this under there. All right, so let's go with ripping it. So pretty and evenly cut, right? So, not a lot, just a little bit off of the side. Rip, rip, rip. Magazine paper is not the easiest to get a cleaner. So that's where we're at on there. And then we don't need very much. So let's rip it. Rip this like this and I do want to try to remember my math skills okay let me cut this part off at the bottom so we'll lay down the base so today was like a pretty chillax lazy day again my husband's grandmother passed away we knew she was sick for a minute and she was suffering so it doesn't make it any better but a loss is a loss but so it was kind of gloom and sad day here. Um, all right, so I just adds it up. And you know what? I think it's so pretty that I think I'm going to put this. I'm going to do it like that, right? And you really can't see it. Her. Should we do it like this, guys? But then it's not as pretty as a... Cause this is cardstock. I think we're gonna do it like this and I think it'll be fine. So let's lay this on down. Even though I think if we moved it over, you would be able to see. Let's cut this. Cut it down. And I can't cut it straight, so I'm gonna use my handy dandy paper trimmer. So how exciting I get to go live so you guys can ask me like weird questions and I can act like I didn't see it. I'm just scared of the trolls because I'll be like, bye Felicia to the trolls. Okay, so that is good. So we're going to glue this down. Sunday. Did anyone do anything exciting today? 
what it, like Sundays are pretty much like we don't go anywhere. I usually cook a big meal. We're getting clothes together for the week, you know, getting everybody adjusted and ready to go back to school. Um, cuz Monday is school day. My kids go to school this week and then next week they go half a week and then they're off for they're off for um, the winter break. And then this one, I'm going to make sure to put glue really good on this side so it doesn't lift up. And so there's really no rhyme or reason why um, I picked any, I mean you could do this with any color magazine, any kind of paper. It's just to texture the background, you know, so not everything kind of looks the same. So I'm lining it up over here on this side and then I'm going to put pressure here first where it's more likely to try to lift up while we're waiting for the glue to dry. And I'm just slowly running my fingers back and forth while that glue dries. That way it'll stay down. And there we go. And then put a little pressure there. And then that is that side. How pretty are those cookies, right? So we did... So on this side, I want it to be... Look how pretty this is. So I, it's going to have to go... We're going to have to trim this further back and this further back. So let me get the paper trimmer because I want the cookies to just kind of peek out. So let Let's cut this in a straight line. Getting magazine paper to lay flat is not the easiest task. All right, and then we're going to use our math, pro math cutting scope. I'm going to cut, hopefully, oh, see it turned on me, so let me cut a straight line. Okay. So it might be off a little bit. That's perfectly fine with me. I told you guys I was bringing in black because of the black and gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz Oxide and edge up this little space right here and down here. So that way on that beautiful tea dye paper. All right. And then here we need to get an actual pin to mark where we want this cut. Let's tie it. Clip this back. Alright, so let me move this clip because we want this to be cut here and then right where the red is. Perfect. <coughs> I didn't make spaghetti. I didn't take the meat out, but I will do that today, right? So what did y'all make for dinner? Let me know what y'all made for dinner. And like, what are your Sundays like? Um, I think that doesn't look straight. Let me go cut the straight over here. Yeah, that's like way not straight. And then we needed to cut this side completely straight. All right, perfect. All right, so here is this side. So what we're going to do on this is I the tear is on the other way, but since this is black, it'll show up really good. And the black, I chose black because it has black in that ornament, but I think black really stands out and gives it dimension a lot more than it makes like a shadow effect so if you guys don't have black well most people have black ink but i think that black does a really good job at giving a project dimension so the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and go all the way and then the edge really quickly. 
All right, so we're gonna put, I have an idea. So I'm gonna take this all the way down to the bottom of the page. So right there. And the reason why I put the magazine and the edge, because I think it'll take away from some of the bulk when the page is trying to cut. So up here, let's put some gold washi. I don't like the way that washi's looking. How about this one? And this foil washi isn't. Use glue when you're using foil washi, FYI, because it never stays sticking. All right, so we're getting this to come up. Is that, I think that's a perfect size. Woo -hoo. All right, we're gonna get that to go all the way across. If we need to trim it again later, we will. So I am just taking the backing off and I'm gonna lay glue all the way down it because I know glitter washi tends to not stay sticking. It'll keep lifting up. And I told y'all, pet peeve of mine is when things start lifting up. I'll take it off before I keep putting it back down and putting it back down. All right, so gold washi glue is on. All right, come on, Jane, get in the right place. All right. Perfect. And there's still that little edge at the top, but we're gonna take this one and we're gonna line this up in this corner and the side. And so remember, I am on this one, since it's not in the lifting up phase, we're just gonna put pressure on the edges until the glue dries. If y'all notice, like I'm trying to do different things and I really have no idea. I was reading a magazine, I'm like, oh, that page is pretty maybe. But then like I had a different plan where I was just gonna do oxide. Like I used to do planner spreads and I used to use the oxide inks in my planner spreads a bunch. So I thought that would be cute. But then I really wanted to use this paper because I think it's so pretty, this page from the magazine. And see, this comes out a little bit, but I'm not worried about that. So that is early out. I'm glad that you guys were. Well, now I'm just playing. All right, so let's figure out what we're going to do with all this stuff. So we definitely want this. And some stuff could go. We're definitely going to use this and this. But I'm going to put gold on that. Um, here and here. And then December can go. All right, let's put gold on here and start building. What we're gonna do, so I don't know why I didn't back this. So this is just like, I got this big old sheet, it's huge, from Tuesday morning that has this glitter paper and I was like, I'm gonna get this because if I don't, I'm gonna regret it. And then I think it even has like adhesive backing on it. I don't know, I thought it would be cute for die cuts and stuff, and when I was like, I need some gold glitter paper, I was like, hey, I got some gold glitter paper. All right, let me throw all this. Well, no, I don't wanna throw the gold away because I might use that still. Um, paper trimmer. I think this, is, this would go cute here, but we're gonna leave it, it's cute. All right, adding, adding, adding. Um, always trying to add. Let me cut about a quarter inch above, and then a quarter inch. And what's funny is this, though it's like gold glitter, it kind of looks like yellow, like a yellow gold. All right, and then we got that. So I'm also going to edge these up with black. And give it dimension and I'm kind of going in on the gold a little bit okay perfect and I think this okay let's do what happened December here's December 
so I think let's start doing so I remember I told you I think there's like an adhesive I don't know it's just weird like slick like kind of like sticker paper almost let me see oh yeah it is an adhesive oh maybe not look at me now I have to glue that part down too all right let's just get it together Jan all right so apparently it's not an adhesive all right so I'm just putting glue on here gonna get this to go right at the top and then I'm going to cat a corner the tenth right here I want it to go right there perfect this is gonna go here and this is going to go possibly maybe this is really big right so maybe we should go well the no that's not gonna work because why is that so big hold on I mean if we went up here maybe we could overlap oh that's cute I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make this into a thing all right let me see so this needs to be glued right there because I'm trying not to do a tip in today that is my goal And then this comes next. Next. Alright. And then this is going to go here. that down a second so over here is going so nanny's gonna go here and then let me glue this YouTube live on the ornament I'm sorry guys I'm not super talkative today let me tell you a funny story I was reading the comment and um, it was so funny because I thought about how as mothers we go through stuff it was uh, my crafty table said that one day she was reading a vintage book to her son and like then when she got to the end she realized like it was missing pages and I thought like how frustrating that could have been at that moment but now how you can look back and laugh at it and I don't know I think sometimes so do you ever like look at your kids and be like I cannot believe I, <laughs> I'm responsible for y'all <laughs> like I'm not the right person I know my son, he's like, gets irritated because he thinks a lot of times we're inappropriate because we'd be laughing at things that we probably shouldn't be. All right, so I'm just going to put this ornament up here. This spread, I think I spent more time talking about what I'm going to do than anything else. All right, so we're going to put this up toward the top. And then I'm just going to hold it down here until it dries because it's at that kind of part where it's going to want to pop up. Look how pretty this is. La 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 la. Alright, I think we're good. I'm going to put that there. Or should we put the ornament here in the fall? Which one's girls? Come on, let's vote. So, if we put the fa la la, it kind of covers up the chicken a little bit and the ornament kind of bounces off of that. Or should we put ornament Fa la 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 la. You're right. We'll do it. Which one? All right, let's do. Which one, girls? All right, you're right. We'll do it over here. How cool! Like I should do. 
one of these spreads where live, right? Where I have like real opinions. But I have so much stuff that it could probably get out of control. Right? Let me be like, okay, what do you need? What do you think? What? Okay, I got that. Okay. And then a desk full of craziness and mayhem. I don't know. It's funny though, a lot of people, um, I think that I can't wait for my kids to get older, right? And I wonder, like, did it, most of y'all that have grown kids, did y'all feel that way? And then when they got older, do you miss them? I think I won't miss having to, like, I like the idea of being hungry, right? The idea, remember, this is just an idea, of being hungry and only having to figure out what I feel like eating. <sighs> like, not having to go make, I don't know, it's just simple things. Or not having to wash, like, 40 loads of laundry and put it up. Or if I left the kitchen clean when I went to bed, waking up and it's still clean. <sighs> the little things. Uh, I have three boys. Or sitting on a toilet that doesn't have pee on the seat. So gross. Alright, so it does cut in the words, but there's enough to read it. I think we're done. I think that's where we're at, guys. So, sorry I wasn't super talkative. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Um, kind of a sad, lazy day, so not a lot to talk about. But a pretty layout, right? Came together really well. Layering, layering, layering. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, because the best is yet to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Just be yourself. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do.